All right, Michael Durr back after not doing a video for probably over a month, maybe two months. So anyways, I've just been super busy with school, finished exams, traveling, all kinds of things. Now I'm back in the gym and the training, it hasn't been as, as good as I would want it to be going up to this provincial meet. So I have the meet in about, I guess, 10 days. And just leading up to my deload week, which is gonna be on the Monday. So I'm gonna take Monday all the way through Friday off. Just gonna do some corrective exercises and make sure the body's feeling good. And then Saturday, the 27th of June is meet day. So anyways, in this video today, I'm just gonna show you a ton of clips, squats, deadlifts, bench from this past week. Um, so what we have right here is a 315 squat. And the squats actually felt pretty good this week considering that I had a lower back injury about a week ago. And it was just a minor tweak. I was deadlifting, it wasn't that heavy. I think it was only maybe like around 375. I just went into extension on the lockout and I overextended and it actually tweaked a little bit. So what I've been doing after that was just working on the upper body, trying to get a bend press up to par and working on some core exercises to activate that quadratus lumborum. So I'm pretty sure that's, that's an issue for me. And ever since working on exercises like side planks, side plank rows, suitcase walks, um, suitcase deadlifts, that actually has really helped. Uh, so right now we've got about three, I believe this is 335 on the bar, and it actually felt pretty slow, but when I reviewed the video, I was actually pretty happy with the speed. Now, going into this meet, I initially wanted to go for a debt or a squat over 400 pounds. I'm not sure if that's going to happen. My last meet was in February. I hit a 374 squat and I think I'll be happy with small PRs for this next meet. So with the squat, if I get around a 385 or higher, I'll be happy with that. So I will be using the squatting shoes. I will not be using any knee sleeves. I don't have any knee sleeves that are legal. And the ones that I have, the rock tape ones, um, I, I just really find that it, they don't help me that much. Um, they do provide nice warmth and I, I actually use them more for knee or for shin, I don't even know what you call it, like for a shin protection um, for when I'm deadlifting. But you know, I, I haven't actually used them for <coughs> knee protection or knee circulation, knee stability. So now I moved into the a little bit of a lighter squat. Just I hit doubles for 275. By this time I was pretty fatigued, and my my goal for the last couple of weeks has been to try and get some weight on the bar to just get into that. Um, I guess more specific with my training and less general. So there's a guy named uh, Silent Mike from Super Training, and what he was saying was when you are leading up to a meet, what you want to do is you want to become less general and more specific so you're decreasing your exercise selection and in this case I might just be going to the gym and I might just be squatting and I might just be benching and it's on this particular day that's what I did just squats and bench um, and actually it felt pretty good I was I was happy with how the workout went so now we're moving to the bench press and this has been the lift that I've been struggling with and again I think the video is nice because I actually get to see how is my lockout, how is my technique, am I, how is my grip width, because I think sometimes when we don't video, we don't see, and maybe nobody's coaching you and you're training alone, then you don't really know what's happening with what's happening with your, your exercises and how it looks. So looking at, it's sort of a weird angle this one here, but I noticed that I was actually gripping about maybe an inch on each side, so two inches more narrow than I used to. And I actually corrected that today, so you see later in the video, um, I actually widened my grip a little bit. And that way I'm gonna activate a little more chest. Um, the 225, it felt not bad. Uh, I was I was actually happy with 
how the video looked and how, what the speed was like. So now I'm moving into deadlifts and like before going into my last meet, I I thought, okay, let's go, let's go sumo deadlift all the way. And it was great. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna do sumo deadlift. However, my conventional has been pretty good. I actually recently hit a five plate um, deadlift, so 495 for a single conventional. And that felt really good. The speed was nice. And I was really happy with the result. But I find that I am about, I'm gonna put a random number out there, maybe 5% stronger on my sumo deadlift. I just feel like I can get, um, get the weight up. It doesn't come up as quick off the ground, but once I get it off the ground and I get it moving, uh, the lockout is no problem usually. So I think it's just a matter of just getting my mechanics right for my sumo deadlift. The conventional, I feel very comfortable with the conventional, but leading up to this meet, I wanna make sure that my mechanics, my mindset, my routine, everything for my sumo deadlift feels natural, it feels good when I'm when I'm leading up to the meet. And what I noticed from last time, from my last meet, I I wasn't thinking, which was, which was a good thing. I just went in there, I lifted, I got the job done. The main thing I was focusing on was just my, my lift commands that the, the judge or the referee was giving me. So here I switch over back to conventional deadlift just to see how it feels and usually when I switch back to conventional deadlift the speed off the floor is a lot better it's coming off really quick and that's actually something that I like about the conventional deadlift it's also hit it I feel like it hits the like your erector spine um, your lower back muscles um, to a higher degree compared to a sumo deadlift I feel like the sumo deadlift since your posture is a little more upright you're gonna get a little more compression um, you're not going to be hitting the lower back as hard as the um, as the conventional. So what I did here was with lightweight 365, I just did two singles back to back, and I did the conventional, and then I moved into a sumo. And what I noticed from because usually I, I film from a side angle, this time I actually filmed from a front angle or sort of like a diagonal angle. But I've got another one coming up. Anyways. Um, what I've noticed is I need to actually bring in my stance a little bit, so I'm going to bring it in about inch and a half on each foot on each side, and I think that will feel a lot stronger, and it did feel stronger. And actually, these clips here, I can't really see it obviously because it's side angle, but I brought in the stance and it did feel better. I brought my hips actually up a little bit higher because I thought they were a little too low, so I'm just making little tweaks, minor adjustments to get everything, um, everything good to go. It was actually really useful to me to look at my older video to see how everything was feeling, or I guess to see how my mechanics were then. So when I watched myself then, I can say, okay, this is what it was like. That's what I want to try and simulate because it felt really good going into my last meet. So I want to have the exact same feeling. I want to be confident because I feel like with powerlifting, it is, it's very mental. Obviously it's physical, but I think um, with you know, the game day come in provincials, it's it's all mental. You have to be 100% focused, you gotta be in the groove. So, we've got some bench press here, and this is what I'm talking about. So the bench press, this is actually my second bench press day this week, and actually it felt way better. And I, I feel like when I get that lift in two, three times a week, it starts to get way better. So I was just focusing on holding that pause for a decent amount of time. Because uh, I've been doing a lot of touch and go and a lot of speed bench, but not too much pause. So I've been really trying to work on my pause bench for the last two to three weeks. It's actually been feeling pretty good. Just a little bit of side angle. You'll see my bar path um, looks okay. We're coming. It's coming a little more, I guess you would say, inferior and then superior as I go. Now. For this meet, like I said guys, Provincials on the 27th of June, I'm gonna do my best, I'm gonna try and my goal would be to hit 1200. I don't know if I'll hit that on my last meet, I hit 1107. If I do better than that, I'll be happy with that. I'm all about those small PRs because hey, I wanna be lifting till I'm 100 years old, doing deadlift, squat, and bench, all day long. So just working on some long pauses with only 185. So not too much weight here, but really trying to feel at the bottom of the movement, tightness, 
and just hanging out there, just hanging out. Uh, I feel like the pause is definitely going to help with, um, with the meat coming up. Other updates, uh, well, still in school, going to finish in August, so it's feeling pretty good, pretty busy with that, and getting married in September. So we've got all kinds of things happening in life. Anyways, guys, I know it's been a while since I've done my last video. I'm sorry, I want to do more videos coming up in the future. And hopefully I can do maybe one every two weeks. Uh, it's just been crazy with the schedule. So we'll talk to you later. We'll see you at the meet. Peace.